Stay-at-home dad Daniel can hardly keep up. I do get overwhelmed. But unbelievably, he wants to add more to the mix. I wanted to breed Sasha. By you breeding, you're just adding to the problem. And shock some sense into Daniel. <laughs> it really gives a reality check. I'm having a really tough time trying to figure out how to juggle the responsibilities with the kids and the responsibilities with the animals. Sasha, back. I feel like we've signed ourselves up for more than we can handle. <laughs> trying to raise a family and keep those dogs. Back. Victoria back. has a one-on-one -on -one with Daniel to find out a little more about Sasha's history. Is Sasha spayed? No, the breeder I got her from said that he had had a lot of demands for pups and that it would be really cool if I would one day return with her and breed her. Sasha hasn't been spayed because Daniel wants to breed her and it drives me crazy. I love bully breeds, you know, I love the way they make me feel when I look at them. I love their protective nature. And one day, you know, if I could work through these challenges, I would love to start a, a bully breed rescue, you know. Okay, here is a guy who wants to breed his dog and add to the pet overpopulation problem, but I'm sure he doesn't see that, but also wants to start a bully breed rescue. Don't get it. What happens if things don't change? I'm really close to the point where I just want them out of our house. The thought of Randy getting rid of the dogs makes me ill. There's a lot of tension in the house, tension between the dogs, tension between Randy and Daniel. There is a lot to sort out here, and I hope they're going to listen. Bully breeds don't transfer over very well to shelters. Coming up, Victoria gives Daniel and Randy a wake-up call. Now, with regards to bully breeds, bully breeds have always seemed to be the underdogs. And the reason why is that they're much misunderstood, I think. The dogs that uh, have been taught to fight have been taught to maim and kill. And, you know, we have these dogs now in our homes. They are extremely loyal dogs and they can make fantastic house pets. But they're a very impulsive breed. So if you have a bully breed in your home, you have to know what you're doing with one and you have to know what you're dealing with. Tell me about wanting to breed Sasha. Well, yeah, originally I wanted to breed Sasha to just, just one time, just to carry out her bloodline. I've had a lot of requests that if I did that to let people know because they want puppies from her. You can start your bully breed rescue with the puppies that Sasha's gonna have because one of the biggest breeds of dogs that are put down in shelters every year are bully breeds. Mm. By you breeding Sasha, you're just adding to it. I think Victoria put the pieces together well for Daniel to see how creating more puppies would only add to these numbers of dogs that are gonna be potentially put down. Before she does anything else, Victoria brings Daniel and Randy to the county shelter so Daniel can see the reality of dog overpopulation and halt his plans for breeding Sasha. The county animal shelter takes in strays, owner surrenders and abuse cases. The people in the shelter do what they can to find homes for the dogs that come into the shelter, but there are just too many animals coming in. There's not enough space, so they have to euthanize them. Basically here, I mean, you see we have two beautiful dogs. I mean, yeah. Yellow Labs, we have a Sharpay. The Sharpay was an owner surrender, so that was a case of somebody that probably bred a dog, thought that he gave it to a good home, and then you never know where the dog ends up. The right family doesn't come through with the right rescue group, probably won't make it out of the shelter. Seeing the, the dogs and the, the long road that we first walked down was just disheartening. I don't know if it was more sad to see the puppies that were just coming into the world that, that were there, or the older dogs who have less of a chance of being adopted. Bully breeds don't transfer over very well to shelters for the simple fact that for the most part, most of them are not dog social. We can't house as many because they take up more space. They take up an individual dog room that can house four dogs. Bully breeds do make up the bulk of our, of our population. So when it comes down to the euthanasia sheet, they take a heavy hit. Just to kind of give you an, an, an idea, you know, this is, this is today's euthanasia law. So you've got how many? 29. 29, and it's not even lunchtime. The bully breeds catch the brunt of it. Daniel was very much affected emotionally by seeing all of the dogs in all of the pens. 
but I'm not 100% convinced that now he's not going to breed Sasha. So I really need to show him the reality of what might happen to Sasha's puppies if he breeds her. Now this is our cooler. This is where we do dispose of the animals that we euthanize on a weekly basis. Our staff is responsible for, for disposing of, of the animals in the cooler. Every week we have to load up. And sometimes you, when you're loading up, you may see a familiar face. That cooler just had a horrific smell. And it's a picture that a lot of people don't have of things that are at a shelter that are reality. When that cooler door opened, I could see the effect of people's irresponsibility and selfishness that was carried down and their animals ultimately had to pay for it. It disgusted me. And just even here, this is part of the four million animals that are put down every year here in the United States. And Sasha's pups could have been one of them. Until people start spaying and neutering their pets and stop breeding their pets, there needs to be high kill shelters. If there weren't any shelters like this, dogs would be roaming around the streets. As concrete as it could be, I will absolutely not breed Sasha under, I mean, any reason whatsoever. If I ever did in the future want another animal, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna come here. Who, who would breed their animal after seeing this? Thank you. Up to you.